Anten så tror en på Gud eller så gör en det inte. Vad har Gud med min framtid att göra? Jag är er rädd för framtiden. Det är er nog en angst för det okända. Jag prövar inte tänka för mycket på det. Vi får aldrig möjlighet att sätta oss ner och tänka. Det är er inte ro nog för reflektioner. Livet är er bara så stressat. Världen ser ut att förändra sig bara fortare och fortare. I ett nytt årtusen bör man kunna starta på nytt och önska det. Jag ska önska alla var lyckliga. Jag vill bli flygkapten. Jag skulle önska alla i världen var snilla med varandra. Det viktigaste vi kan önska är er god hälsa och fred på jord. Jag har något med att tänka på mig själv och min lilla värld. Någon människa blir mer och mer utfreds. Kanske utan att de själv upptäcker det. Jag har alltid önskat att livet mitt skulle vara betydningsfullt. Det är er så svårt att få tid att göra de viktiga tingen. Jeg skriver til dig kjære Teofilus, og forteller hele historien om de tingene som har skjedd blant oss, for at du skal få vite hele sannheten om det du har er undervist i. På den tiden da Augustus var keiser i Rom, og Herodes var konge i Jødeland, ble englen Gabriel sendt fra Gud til en jomfru som het Maria i byen Nazareth. Fear not, Mary, for you have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you will call his name Jesus. How can this be? I am a virgin. The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Så dro Maria til en by i Juda for å besøke slekten Elisabeth, som vet under også var blitt gravid. Elizabeth! Mary! Cousin Mary! You're the most blessed of all women, and blessed is the child you will bear. For as soon as I heard your greeting, the baby within me jumped with gladness. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. From now on, all generations will call me blessed. Know, all men of Nazareth, that by command of Caesar Augustus, there will be conducted a census of the subject territories of Galilee and Judea. All men must register forthwith in the towns and cities of their ancestral birth. Maria dro till Betlehem i Judea för att bli skrevet in sammen med Josef sin trolovede. Men det var ikke plats till dem i Betlehem. Det eneste stedet de fick overnatte var i en stall. Det var någon geter i närheten som var ute om natten och passet sauna sine. Plötsligt stod en engel foran dem och Herrens herlighet lyste om dem. Det 
This very day in David's town, your savior was born. Christ the Lord. Geterne skyndte seg sted for å se det lille barnet som lå i krybben, og de var de første som fortalte videre de gode nyhetene om at frelseren var født. Åtte dager senere ble barnet omskåret, og han fikk navnet Jesus. Josef og Maria tok han med til Jerusalem for å bære ham frem for Herren. Da de hadde gjort det som var bestemt i Moseloven, dro de hjem fra Jerusalem til Nazaret. Da Jesus var tolv år, tok Josef og Maria ham med til Jerusalem for å feire påske. Men da de skulle hjem, ble Jesus igjen i Jerusalem uten at foreldrene visste om det. De dro tilbake til byen for å lete etter ham. Etter tre dager fant de ham i tempelet. Der satt han blant lærerne og de eldste. Hvilken barn er dette som spørsmål slike spørsmål? Han er fra Nazareth. Vi trodde han hadde vært med oss. Please, forgiv ham hans ziel. Alle som hørte på ham ble overrasket. Son, hvorfor har du gjort dette til oss? Din far og jeg har vært terrible vært for å finne deg. Hvor er det at du lukket for meg? Har du ikke vært at jeg må være om min fars business? Så ble han med dem hjem til Nazaret. Han ble eldre og klokere, og var til glede for Gud og mennesker. I det femtende året keiser Tiberius regjerte, var Pontius Pilatus landsøvding i Judea. Herodes var landsfyrste over Galilea, og Annas og Kaifas var øverstepresser. Da kom Guds ord til Johannes ute i Ødemarken, og han dro rundt i området rundt Jordan og forkynte at folk skulle vende om og bli døpt for å få tilgivelse for syndene sine. Turn away from your sins and be baptized, and God will forgive your sins. As it is written in the book of the prophet Isaiah. Someone is shouting in the desert. Get the road ready for the Lord. Make a straight path for him to travel. Every valley must be filled up. Every hill and mountain leveled off. Winding roads must be made straight, and the rough paths made smooth, and all mankind will see God's salvation. Tell us, are you Christ? Yes, are you Christ? Tell us! I baptize you with water, but someone is coming who is much greater than I am. I'm not good enough even to untie his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. He has his winnowing shovel with him to fresh out all the grain and gather the wheat into his barn. Den hellige ånd kom ned over Jesus som en due. Og en stemme fra himmelen sa, Du er min sønn, den elskede. I deg har jeg behag. Han kom til Nazaret, der han hadde vokst opp. Hello. 
Peace be with you. And you, Master. Will your boat bear me, Simon? Why not? Once there were two men who went up to the temple to pray. One was a Pharisee, the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood apart by himself and prayed, I thank you, God, that I am not greedy or dishonest or an adulterer like everybody else. I thank you that I am not like that tax collector over there. I fast twice a week, and I give you one-tenth of all my income. But the tax collector stood at a distance and would not even raise his face to heaven, but beat upon his breast and said, God, have pity on me, a sinner. I tell you, the tax collector, not the Pharisee, was in the right with God when he went home. For the man who exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. Push the boat out further to the deep water. Then you and your partners let down your nets for a catch. Oh, master, we worked hard all night long and caught nothing. But if you say so, I'll let down the nets. James! John! Go away from me, Lord. I am a sinful man. Don't be afraid. From now on, you will be catching men. I beg you to save my only daughter. Sir, have mercy. She's only 12 years old and, and dying. Please, please come with me. Cyrus, I'm sorry. Jesus. Your daughter has died. Don't bother the teacher any longer. Don't be afraid. Only believe and she will be well. Do not weep. She's not dead, but only sleeping. Oh, oh. 
give her something to eat. I charge you. Tell no one what has happened here. Jesus gikk opp i fjellet for å be og var der hele natten i bønn til Gud. Dagen etter valgte han ut tolv disipper som han kalte apostler. Det var Simon som han også kalte Peter. Og hans bror Andreas. Jakob. Johannes. Philip og Bartolomeus, Matteus, og Thomas, Jakob, sønn av Alfeus, og Simon, som ble kalt Seloten, Judas, Jakobs sønn, og Judas Iskariot, som senere forrådte ham. Blessed are you, Paul, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who hunger now, for you shall be filled. Blessed are you who weep now, for you shall laugh. Blessed are you when men hate you and reject you and insult you and say you are evil, all because of the Son of Man. Be glad when that happens and dance for joy, because a great reward is kept for you in heaven, for their ancestors did the very same things to the prophets. But I tell you who hear me, Love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. And pray for those who mistreat you. If anyone strikes you on the one cheek, let him hit the other one also. And if someone takes away your coat, let him have your shirt as well. Give to everyone who begs from you. And if someone takes what is yours, do not ask for it back again. Do for others only what you would have others do for you. If you love only the people who love you, why should you receive a blessing? For even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, why should you receive a blessing? Even sinners do that. How could he touch her? How could he talk to her? No. Love your enemies and do good to them and lend expecting nothing back. And then you will have a great reward for you will be sons of the Most High God. For he is good to the ungrateful and to the wicked. Be merciful, just as your father is merciful. Save us, Jesus. Judge not and you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Lead us in thy path, O Lord. I'd like to know this man. Do you think he might be the Messiah? Fariseen imiterte Jesus hjem på middag. Og han ble med hjem til ham og satte seg til bors. Kom igjen, barn. Nå er du gått. Du hørte meg. Gå! Det er etter alt det mistet du har gått med den. Godt, sønn. Hva er hun gjør her? Jeg vet ikke.
move. Two men who owed money to a money lender. One owed him 500 silver coins, the other 50. Neither of them can pay him back, so he cancelled the debts of both. Which one then will love him more? I suppose that it would be the one who was forgiven more. You are right. You see, this woman. I came into your home. You gave me no water for my feet. She has washed my feet with her tears and dried them with her hair. You did not welcome me with a kiss. But since I came, she has not stopped kissing my feet. You provided no olive oil for my head. But she has anointed my feet with perfume. I tell you then, the great love she has shown proves that her many sins are forgiven. But whoever is forgiven little shows only a little love. Your sins are forgiven you. Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. I... sent us to ask if you are the one who is going to come or should we expect someone else go back and tell John what you have seen and heard the blind can see the lame can walk how happy are those who have no doubts about me onto my shoulder can you see now I can see Jesus A sower went out to sow his seed. And as he scattered the grain, some of it fell by the path and was trodden on. And the birds of the air devoured it. And some fell on rocky ground. And when the plants sprouted, they withered away because they had no moisture. And some seeds fell among thorns. And the thorns grew up with the plants and choked them. And some seeds fell in good soil. And the plants grew and bore grain, 100 grains each. Master, why do you speak in parables whenever a crowd is near? The knowledge of the secrets of the kingdom of God have been given to you. But to others it comes by means of parables, so they may look but not see, and listen but not understand. This is what the parable means. The seed is the word of God. The seeds that fell along the path stand for those who hear. But the devil comes and takes the message away from their hearts in order to keep them from believing and being saved. The seeds that fell on rocky ground stand for those who hear the message and receive it gladly. But they have no root. They believe only for a while. And when the time of testing comes, they fall away. The seeds that fell among thorns stand for those who hear. But the worries and riches and pleasures of this life crowd in and choke them. And their fruit never ripens. And the seeds that fell in good soil Stand for those who hear the message and retain it in a good and obedient heart. 
and they persist until they bear fruit. En dag var Jesus i en båt sammen med disiplene, og sa til dem, «La oss dra over til den andre siden av sjøen!» Og mens de seilte, sovnet han. Where is your faith? De kom over til Gerasenelandet, som ligger rett overfor Galilea. your name. Legion. Lord, we beg you, do not send us into the abyss. Let us enter into the herd of swine. <laughs> Hey! Come back! Stop! Stop! Og de onde åndene forlot mannen og for inn i grisene. Wherever you go, let me come with you. Go back home and tell what God has done for you. Jesus og disippelene hans dro mot Bethsaida for å være alene. Men mange fikk vite om det og fulgte etter dem. Sent på ettermiddagen sa Peter, Master, send the people away, so that then they can go to the villages and farms around here, and find food and lodging. This is a lonely place. You yourselves give them something to eat. But all we have are five loaves and two fish.
Blessed art thou, O Lord, our God, King of the universe, who bringeth forth bread from the earth. Who do the crowd say I am? Some say that you are John the Baptist. Others say that you were Elijah. While others say that one of the prophets of long ago has come back to life. What about you? Who do you say I am? You are God's Messiah. You shall tell no man of this. The Son of Man must suffer much and be rejected. He will be put to death. But three days later will be raised to life. Will any of you come with me? I will follow you, Master. But first, let me go and say goodbye to my family. Anyone who starts to plough and then keeps looking back is of no use for the kingdom of God. If anyone wants to come with me, he must forget himself. Take up his cross every day and follow me. For whoever would save his own life will lose it. And whoever would lose his life for my sake will save it. What will it profit a man if he gain the whole earth and lose his own soul? If any man is ashamed of me and of my teachings, then the Son of Man will be ashamed of him when he comes in his glory, and the glory of the Father and the holy angels. Teach us to pray, just as John taught his disciples. When you pray, say, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done as in heaven, so in earth. Give us day by day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins. For we also forgive everyone who is indebted to us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Take no thought in your life for what you shall eat, nor for your body what you shall wear. For life is more than food, and the body more than clothing. Consider the ravens. They neither sow nor reap, have neither storehouse nor barn, yet God feeds them. Of how much more worth are you than the birds? Good teacher, what must I do to receive eternal life? Why do you call me good? No one is good save God alone. You know the commandments. Do not commit adultery. Do not commit murder. Do not accuse anyone falsely. Respect your mother and your father. Ever since I was young, I have obeyed all these commandments. There is still one more thing you need to do. 
You must sell all you have and give the money to the poor, and you will have riches in heaven. Then come and follow me. But we are merchants, wealthy. How hard it is for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. It's harder for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God than for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle. Who then can be saved? What is impossible for man is possible for God. It is easier for heaven and earth to disappear than for the smallest detail of the law to be done away with. For I tell you, many prophets and kings desired to see what you see and did not see it, and to hear what you hear and did not hear it. What should we do? What do the scriptures say? How do you interpret them? Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind. And love your neighbor as you love yourself. You're right. Do this and you'll live. Uh, who is my neighbor? Not those soldiers. Yes. What about Caesar? There was once a man going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when robbers attacked him. Stripped him, beat him, leaving him half dead. It so happened that a priest came that way. When he saw the man, he walked by on the other side. In the same way, a Levite also came there, went over and looked at the man, and then walked by on the other side. But a Samaritan who was traveling on that road came across the man, and when he saw him, his heart was filled with pity. He went over to the man poured oil and wine on his wounds and bandaged them. Then he put him on his own animal and took him to an inn, where he took care of him. The next day he gave the innkeeper two silver coins, and he told him to look after the man. And when I come back, he said, I will pay you whatever else you spend on him. Which one of these three acted like a neighbor towards the man who was attacked by the robbers? The one who was kind to him. <laughs> you then do the same. Hmm. Ah. Suffer the little children to come unto me, and do not forbid them, for of such is the kingdom of God. Verily I say unto you, whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child shall in no wise enter therein. Whoever welcomes this child in my name welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. For he who is least among you all is the greatest. to see you again. Then see. Your faith has made you well. I can see. <laughs> I can see. I can see. Da Jesus var på väg till Jerusalem mötte han många människor överallt. De bad han fortell dem hur de kunde bli frälst och lära dem mer om Guds rike. Folk hade börjat att tro att Jesus var herre och mäster. I Jericho var en toller som hette Zacchaeus. Han ville gärna se Jesus, så han klättrade upp i ett träd för att komma över folkmängden. Hurry down Zacchaeus. Try to stay in your house today. 
My house? You want to stay in his house? Yes, that's the last place I want to stay. I give half of my belongings to the poor. And if I have cheated anyone, I will pay him back four times as much. <laughs> Tax collector paying back his taxes. Impossible! <laughs> <laughs> Salvation has come to this house today. For this man also is a descendant of Abraham. The son of man came to seek and to save the lost. Listen. We are going to Jerusalem. Everything the prophets wrote about the Son of Man will come true. He will be handed over to the Gentiles. They will mock him and treat him shamefully and spit upon him. He will be whipped and killed. But on the third day, he will rise. Jesus visste at han skulle gi sitt liv for syndene til alle mennesker, men likevel dro han til Jerusalem. Mange mennesker jublet han kom dit, og ønsket at han skulle bli deres konge. disciples to be quiet. I tell you, if they were to be quiet, the stones themselves would begin shouting. Tempelet i Jerusalem hadde blitt et handelssted i stedet for et gudshus. Motstanden vokste blant en del av de politiske og religiøse lederne, fordi folk ville ha Jesus som konge. Jeg forstår at mange har allerede hælt ham som konge. En konge? En konge av beggars, hårs og thieves. Vi har sett hans liv før. De kommer, de gjør sine klæm, de går. De er forgåtte. Ikke være blind. Hans følging er blant dagen. De mennesker admirer ham. Og tror han er konge. Let me give you a warning. If this man should threaten the peace further, I shall look to you. I 
Perhaps he's right. It's time we confronted the Galilean. Jesus kritiserte flere ganger hyklerne blant de skriftlære og fariserene. Mange mennesker fulgte ham, men motstand mot ham økte blant de gruppene han kritiserte. I en gang Jesus var i tempelet, så han en fattig enke som ga to småmynter. But she, poor as she is, put in all the living that she had. Tell us, what right do you have to say these things? Who gave you such right? Now let me ask you a question. Tell me, did John's right to baptize come from God or from man? What shall we say? If we were to say from God, he will say why then? Don't you believe, John? But if we say from man, this whole crowd here will stone us. They're all convinced that John was a prophet. We don't know where it came from. Neither will I tell you then by what right I do these things. It was like before the unsyrede brød's højtid, som also blev kalt påsken. Jesus sendte Simon Peter og Johannes i forveien for å gjøre i stand til påskemåltidet. wanted so much to eat this Passover meal with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will never eat it until it is given its full meaning in the kingdom of God. Blessed art thou, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who bringeth forth fruit from the vine. Take this and share it among yourselves. For I say unto you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. Blessed art thou, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who bringeth forth bread from the earth. This is my body which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. This cup is the new testament in my blood, which is shed for you. But behold, the hand of him that betrayeth me is with me on the table. And truly the Son of Man must die as God has determined, but woe unto that man by whom he is betrayed. It can't be. 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 not possible. Name the traitor, Lord. You have stayed with me all through my trials. And just as my father has given me the right to rule, so I will give you the same right. You will eat and drink at my table in my kingdom. And you will sit on thrones to rule over the 12 tribes of Israel. Then there is no traitor. Simon, Simon, behold. Satan has desired to test all of you, to separate the good from the bad as a farmer separates the wheat from the chaff. But I have prayed for you, Simon, that your faith may not fail. And when you have turned back to me, you must strengthen your brethren. Lord, I am ready to go to prison with you. 
and to die with you. you. Peter, the cock will not crow this day before that you shall thrice deny that you know me. Overpresten og de skriftlærde møttes for å finne ut hvordan de kunne bli kvitt Jesus. Djevelen for inn i Judas Iskariot, en av de tolv. Han planla sammen med øverstepresten og rådet hvordan de skulle få tak i Jesus. Jesus dro ut til oljeberget for å be. Pray that you may not enter into temptation. Judas Iskariot forrådte Jesus for 30 sølvpenger. Jesus visste at tiden var kommet da han skulle dø for syndene for alle mennesker. Og han ba. Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. Why are you sleeping? Get up and pray that you do not fall into temptation. Come with swords and clubs as though I were an outlaw. I was with you every day in the temple and you did not try to arrest me. But this is your hour to act when the power of darkness rules. Arrest him. Guard him well. Soldatene tok han med inn i borgeren. De hånte ham og kalte ham jødenes konge. This man too was with Jesus. Woman, I don't even know him. I saw them together.
<laughs> You're humble, sir. <laughs> How does it feel to look up to somebody? You are one of them, too. But I am not. There is no doubt that this man was with Jesus, because he's also a Galilean. Go away. <laughs> I don't know what, what you're talking about. Da snudde Jesus sig og så på Peter. Og Peter husket hva Herren hadde sagt til ham. Før hanen galer skal du fornekte mig tre ganger. with the greatness of thy power. Thou, who did forgive our fathers when they rebelled against thy word. Who hit you, guess? Prophesy. Who hit you next? Stop it. Stop it, I said. Bring him before the council. De eldste og overprestene kom sammen til rådsmøte, og de ville forhøre Jesus. Tell us, are you the Messiah? If I tell you, you will not believe me. And if I ask you a question, you will not answer me. But from now on, the Son of Man will be seated at the right side of Almighty God. Are you then the Son of God? You say that I am. We ourselves have heard what he said. We will take him to Pilate. De sendte ham til Pontius Pilatus, den romerske landshövdingen, som var ansvarlig for å ha korsfestet tusenvis av mennesker. And what do you want here? At this hour of the morning, we caught this man perverting our people. He caused an uproar in the temple market. What will be his punishment? Sentence him. I see no reason to condemn this man, no reason. We found him guilty, telling them not to pay taxes to the emperor, claiming himself the Messiah, a king. A king? Are you the king of the Jews? So you say. He began in Galilee, and now he has come here. In Galilee? Is this man a Galilean? In that case, we'll let Herod deal with him. He's still here in Jerusalem, isn't he? Take him to Herod. <laughs> My lord, he has been corrupting all the people. He calls himself a king. This man? A king? <laughs> Your majesty. Mark him well. <gasps> Oh! 
Send him back to Pilot. This is his province. This man has done nothing to deserve death. So I will have him scourged and let him go. You are obliged to release one man to us at this festival. Release to us Barabbas. Yes, Barabbas. 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 And away with this man. Yes. Give us more. You, you, scourge him. Folkemengden fortsatte bare å rope med høye stemmer at Jesus skulle korsvestes. Derfor dømte Pilatus Jesus til døden og satte Barabbas fri slik de ba han. Barabbas satt i fengsel fordi han var en opplever enn murder. Jesus ble overlatt til vaktene fordi han skulle korsvestes. What's your name? Simon of Cyrene, sir. Step over here. Cut the ropes! Hold your show petty, eh? You! Carry it! Come on, move! Come on, we ain't got all 
Forgive them, Father. I know not what they do. He has saved others. Let him save himself. De hade satt en inskrift över ham. Där stod det: "Detta är er Jödens konge." Jesus blev korsfästet mellan två förbrytare i samsvar med det profeten hade förutsagt för flera hundra år sedan. Save yourself if you are the king of the Jews. Messiah, save yourself and and us. Don't you fear God? He received the same sentence you did, but he has done no wrong. Remember me, Jesus. When you come as king, I promise you. Today you will be in paradise with me. Det var den sjette time, og det blev mørkt over hele jorden fram til den niende time. Da revnet forreng i templet i to. Father. Into thy hands. I commit. My spirit. Da officeren som var der så det som skedde, priste han Gud. Glory be to God. Certainly this was a righteous man. Josef fra Arimathea, en rådsherre som ikke hadde vært med på å dømme Jesus til døden, gikk til Pilatus og fikk lov til å legge Jesu døde legeme 
i en grav før sabbaten begynte. Forgive us. We are following the body of our Lord. All are welcome. But come, the Sabbath is approaching. Tidlig om morgenen, den tredje dagen, kom kvinnene til graven. De hadde med seg velluktende oljer de hadde laget. De så at steinen var rullet vekk fra graven. Og da de gikk inn i graven, så de at Jesu legene var borte. seek the living among the dead. He is not here, but is risen. Remember what he said to you while he was in Galilee. The Son of Man will be handed over to sinful men, be crucified, and on the third day rise again. to us, angels shining like the sun, and said to us, why do you look for the living among the dead? It's true. Believe us. Believe us. We saw them. Go and see for yourselves. The tomb was empty. Our Lord was gone. Peter, you must believe us. Jesus viste seg også for to av disiplene. De skyndte seg tilbake til de andre. The Lord has risen indeed. He has appeared to Simon. We didn't recognize him. Not on the road. But when he broke bread, then we knew. At Emmaus, how strange he should go there. Peace be with you. Why are you troubled? 
Why are these doubts coming up in your minds? Look at my hands and my feet and see that it is I myself. Feel me and you will know. For a spirit has not flesh and bones, as you see I have. These are the very things I spoke to you about while I was still with you. That everything written about me in the law of Moses and the writings of the prophets and the Psalms had to come true. This is what is written. The Messiah must suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. And in his name, the message of repentance and of forgiveness of sins must be preached to all nations, beginning in Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. And I myself bring the promise of my father upon you. But you must wait in the city until the power from above comes down upon you. The Lord bless you and keep you. All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go, therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And, lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Det är er inte rart att de som följde Jesus trodde han var Gud. De hade sett han utföra många mirakler och de lyttade till hans stora visdom. De hade sett Jesus dö på ett kors bara för att stå upp igen tre dagar efter och på den måten visa sin makt över döden. De hade hört han säga si att allt detta måste ske. Bara slik kunde de se Guds kärlighet och få tillgivelse för att de valde och överse Gud och gå sin egen väg. Jesus tillbörde i ett nytt och bättre liv, ett liv som var också efter döden. Detta tillbörde gällt inte bara de, men alla som senare har följt han. Det gäller också för oss i det tredje årtusen. Jesus är er mannen bak historien vår. Kalendern minner oss om att Gud kom in i världen för över 2000 år sedan. Han kom som människa Jesus. Jesus lever framdeles. Han är er den samma evige Gud som ger historien mening och som väntar på att få en central plats i ditt liv. För att starta ett nytt liv under hans ledelse må vi erkänna att vi inte lever slik Gud önsket vi skulle leva. Och vi må inrömma att vi tränger hans tillgivelse. Vi må acceptera Jesus som den levende Gud som gav sitt liv för oss. Vi att göra det öppnet han den eneste vägen till vänskap med Gud. Bara slik kan han förändra vårt liv. Jesus säger: Se, jag står för dörren och banker. Om någon hör min röst och öppnar dörren, vill jag gå in till ham och hålla måltid, jag med ham och han med mig. Detta är er det Gud tillbyr. Allt vi tränger och göra är er att ta emot han och hans tillgivelse. Vi att invitera Jesus in i centrum av vårt liv, vill han komma in och ge oss kraft till att leva ett liv sammen med Gud. Där som du önskar ta emot det nya livet som Jesus tillbyr, ska du bara spöra. Orden du brukar är er inte så viktiga. Det som betyder något är er din tillit till han som den levande och evige Gud. För att uttrycka dina tankar kan du kanske säga si som följer: Jesus, jag är er lei för att jag har gått min egen väg. Tack för att du döde på korset för att betala för mina synder. Kom in på första platsen i mitt liv. Gör mig till den person du önskar jag ska vara. Om du önskar att Jesus ska bli en del av ditt liv, så be denne bön för dig själv. Jesus, jag är er lei för att jag har gått min egen väg. Tack för att du döde på korset för att betala för mina synder. Kom in på första platsen i mitt liv. Gör mig till den person du önskar jag ska vara.
Hvis du har bett Jesus komme in i ditt liv, kan du stole på att han vil være der. For han är er den levende Gud. Hans løfter er troverdige. Du kan också vara sikker på att du är er tillgitt, att Gud tar emot dig som sitt barn och att du har evig liv. Du kan lära mer om Gud vid att snacka med han, det vi kallar bön, och vi har läsa mer i bibeln. Här vill du få vägledning och hjälp till ditt nya liv. Se gärna efter en kyrka eller församling där du kan möta andra som tror på Jesus. Til slut, husk hans løfte. Jeg vil være med dig alle dager, like til verdens ende.